Welcome back to Coding Commanders. I'm Commander Candy, and today we're going to learn how to use Vi Text Editor. Vi space cherry dot php. And what that's going to do, if a file called cherry dot php exists, it's going to open it and let you modify it. If one does not exist yet, it will create it like it just did for me. When you first get into Vi, you're going to be in command mode. There's two modes. There's command mode and there's insert mode. Command mode is where you're gonna be typing commands and we'll talk about that more in a second. Insert mode is basically where you can type inside your document where you can edit. So I is gonna take you into insert mode and then if you wanna get back to command mode, all you're gonna do is escape. Next, let's talk about navigation. While in command mode, you can navigate through Vi using these characters. H will move you to the left, J will move you down, K will move you up, and L will move you to the right. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna go into insert mode, so press I, and we're gonna type some text, so then we can go into command mode and learn our commands. We're gonna do our opening PHP tags, which is less than question mark PHP. Let's go ahead and type our closing one. Echo's going to print or display to the user. Hello, world. Good. Bye, Sherry. Now let's go ahead and go back to command mode. Press escape. H to the left. L to the right. J down. K up. The advantage of doing navigation in command mode is there are shortcuts, like you can place a number in front of the character in order to move a specified number of spaces. Let me show you. So let's go ahead and type, I'm going to type, and you do this too, type 3L, boom, do 5L, boom, 4L. Now let's do 9H. You see how it moves around? So once you get used to it, it's actually a lot quicker to navigate around in command mode. Next, let's learn about how to save, how to save and quit, and how to quit without saving, because I think these might be, I think insert mode, command mode, saving and quitting are like the most important things. So first, let's make sure that we are in command mode, colon, W exclamation mark, boom, it's saved, and then you can continue typing. What if you want to save and quit? What would you do? Capital Z, capital Z will save and quit. See how it, see how down there now it says Candy Ubuntu? We are now out of our, we are now out of Vi. Now let's go back in there, vi space cherry.php. Boom, see, it's all saved and good. Now, what if you want to quit without saving, right? Like, I have a cat named Voltron, and sometimes he'll, like, jump on the computer and all this. Say, I open it up, he jumped out. Oh, I just want to get out of here. I don't want to save. I don't even want to bother undoing what he did. Let's just, or let's just start fresh. Okay. What we're going to do is make sure you're in command mode. Type colon, Q, exclamation point. Boom. And all these commands are written out on my website in the written lesson. I will link that in the video description along with any other materials I think you might find useful. There are some commands in the written lesson that I will not be doing on the video. The reason being, once you get the hang of it, you kind of get the hang of it. You have these commands and then you can add numbers in front of them and things like that. Once you've seen me do a few of them, I don't think it's necessary to do every single one live. Now let's go back to by space cherry dot php. PHP, it's for me. Hello world, goodbye cherry. Okay, so next let's learn how to delete. Let's say after goodbye, I accidentally typed an I and I want to delete that character. How would I do that? Okay, first make sure you're in command mode. Put your cursor underneath that letter and you can also actually, let's go back to insert mode. You can, by putting the cursor underneath the letter and pressing delete in insert mode, you can delete. So if there's just one character, it might be quicker to do it in insert mode. 
but if there's a lot you want to delete, it's probably going to be better to do it in command mode, and I'll show you why. So, okay, so let's say that I have these three letters that I want to delete. E, D, S. Or actually, E does belong there, doesn't it? Goodbye has an E in it. Okay, two letters, D and S. So let's escape into command mode. Put the cursor underneath the D, then 2, X. Boom. Okay, let's say that we want to delete the word cherry. To delete a whole word, make sure you're in command mode. Put the cursor under the first letter, which is C, and then go ahead and type DW. It's gone. Let's say I want to undo that. Oh, and to do multiple words, you can do the same thing with the um, numbers. Put the, a number in front, like say you want to do, let's go ahead, like, let's say I want to do two words. So put it under here, 2DW. Two words are gone. So just put the number of words you want to delete at the beginning, followed by DW. So how do you undo? Make sure you're in command mode, and then type a lowercase u. Hello world's back! Let's do it again. Cherry's back. If you want to undo all of the changes that you made to a line, you can use a capital U. There's more on that in my written lesson. Now let's do replace. Okay, so once you're in command mode, make sure the cursor is underneath the letter that you or character that you want to replace. Hit R and then hit the character you want to replace it with. Okay, let's do it one more time. R, C. Okay. Now let's say that we want to replace a whole word. Let's say, instead of saying goodbye, we want to say see ya. We don't want goodbye in there anymore. So what do we do? Okay. First, make sure you're in command mode. Make sure the cursor is under the first letter of the word you want to replace. And then type C, W. Now it's going to automatically take you into insert mode, and I'll be able to type, see ya. Now I'm going to go back to command mode by pressing escape, and I'm going to hit a lowercase u because I really wanted goodbye there. Now let's say that you want to delete that whole line. What you're going to do is as always make sure your cursor's under the first character that you're looking to replace. Make sure you're in command mode, especially if you're just doing some typing. Press escape. Then you're going to go ahead type a capital C. And now you're back in insert mode and you're able to type whatever you wanted to replace it with. Let's press escape to go back to command mode. Press U because I want it back. Now let's see what would happen if I have the cursor under W, and then I go ahead and press the capital C. It deleted everything on the line starting with the W. Remember, you could put numbers in front of them if you want to delete multiple characters, multiple words, all that kind of stuff. Somebody on my Twitter asked me to go over how to copy and paste. Hey, you want to copy the word world. How would you copy the word world? Okay, but make sure your cursor's under that big uppercase W, then press B. Now move the cursor to the end of what you want to copy. So I'm going to move it to D, and you can either copy or you can cut at this point. To copy it, we're going to go ahead and press Y. Boom! If you wanted to cut, you would press D. Okay, let's say we wanted a whole block of code. How would we do that? What we're going to do is, let's say yeah, we want multiple lines, multiple lines. Let's start right here, okay? Now hit Control B, go down like that, and see how now both those lines are being highlighted when I go to the right. So in order to paste, what you're going to do is you're going to start off putting the cursor where you want it, the cursor where we want to paste. If we want to put it before the cursor, we're going to do a capital P. And if you want to do it after the cursor, you do a lowercase p. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe for more super awesome lamp stacking computer programming tutorials. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, happy coding.